How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I'm angry. As you can tell by the red accented lights in the background and now Alexa lights red. <laughs> the red accented lights in the foreground. I'm furious. I am fuming with rage and there's only one way I can exhaust it all and that is by flaming you guys up showing no mercy just burners on cooking you guys scorching you i plan on doing just that although i do have to say sadly because we live in 2022 that these are jokes and i am going out of my way to say a joke you know the whole point of this video is to entertain don't cry me a river in the comments please anyways uh these are submitted from my subscribers and they are asking me to roast them so if you want to end up in one of these videos go ahead and hit that like button let's i don't know let's set a like goal let's do 7500 likes and i will destroy your guys's souls you guys will just exit the car scene after that so hit that like button submit your card to my gmail drewpeacock.com link in description down below let's dive right in all right so we're just gonna go in order this guy says roast his build it's a 2014 mustang which is my favorite year but uh still a lot you can flame up about this car now he got it in the six speed manual which is cool if you're a 12 year old and right off the bat i am noticing an intake that is skinnier than my fucking penis so already i'm suspecting a v6 let's see if my suspicions are correct don't see any gt badges don't see anything that's signifying a gt for someone whose name is savvy v8 one would expect you to have a v8 Bro is so bored and gets so little bitches that he spends his afternoons in the middle of nowhere taking photos of his V6 Mustang. Can we get an F in the chat for this clown, my boys? I like how the only redeemable quality about his car is the six speed. So cool, my dude. At least it's, it's a manual, guys. It's a V6 muscle car, but it's at least a manual. Pick your priorities. Garbage. Roast or raid her. Still a work in progress, but I got a VQ35DE2006 Nissan Altima. Her name is Naomi. If you name your car, your DMs are drier than the Sahara Desert. The only time your dick gets wet is when you take a shower, which is probably once a week. Have Naomi here, get your ass to work so you can afford a better car. 2006 Nissan Altima. Once again, driving out to the middle of nowhere to take photos of a fucking piece of shit car. He claims he has BBSs on it. Cap. This guy wants me to roast his car. Don't know what the car is yet. Seeing a pillar gauges already upset at that because I fucking hate them. It's a Miata. I could just tell by right here. It's a Miata. So I'm guessing it's a boosted Miata. So I mean, well, I guess we'll find out, right? Let's just let's just keep going. Tire fucking lettering in 2022. Who would have thought? Hey, 2016 called. They want their trend back. God, I fucking hate NA Miatas now. TikTok ruined this car for me. Like, I feel like it is a fun car, but the cringe around this car, I think of the most deplorable human beings driving this car. Either TikTok girls who wrap them pink or 16 year old boys who think it's a fucking race car. At least it's got some cool halo headlights. So he never really shows the turbo. It just shows a boost gauge and we see some sort of intercooler piping right here. So he's boosted the 100 horsepower Miata to a whopping 150. And it probably overheats like a motherfucker. And what garbage bin did you pull these parts out of? Because this thing looks mustier than the toilet paper I just used to wipe my ass. And I had Taco Bell. I hit like on your last video. Roast me. Sure thing. It'll be easy enough. You drive an infinity. Wow, so original with this one. You wrapped your infinity, you lowered it, and you put it on... Oh, fake three-piece wheels. Sorry, ESR, I gotta do you on this one. Is this you, bro? Is this you, the SR01? Sure does look like you. For a whopping 260 a wheel, you can own some fake three-piece wheels. Good job. You really put fake three-piece wheels on like a $40,000 car. All you're missing is the face makeup and the big fake red nose because you're a fucking clown. I guarantee this Instagram picture probably had some cringy caption like wolves in the street or something like that. Oh God, if you're hanging out with Chrysler 300 boys, you already know your standards are low. I haven't seen a Chrysler 300 pull up to a car meet in years. 
for good reason. Because one, they're Chrysler built pieces of shit, and two, their demographic of people who bought them are beyond dead by now. Talking about you, boomers. Yeah, it's a V6. Go ahead and roast, lol. Oh, don't worry, I will. Not only is it a V6, but it's a fucking drop top. What rental car dealership did you pick up this bad boy from? Bright yellow drop top, as if you want to be seen driving this piece of shit around. I like yellow on cars. I have a bright yellow Supra, but I'm proud of that. And I want to be seen in that. Definitely don't want to be seen in the bright yellow piece of shit Mustang. Oh, he got the K&N though. Oh, completely shut me up with that one. <laughs> Sick, he got the K&N. Engineered intake. Where's your fucking actual filter though? You just running it, no filter? Dip shit. You need installation instructions for a cold air intake? Sell your car and get an Uber membership or something. Take the fucking bus. You definitely do not belong behind a steering wheel if you need instructions on how to install a cold air intake with two hose clamps. Some people are just dropped on their fucking heads as babies and no one tells them until they're doing stupid shit like this. This dude really got talked into a cold air intake at AutoZone. Oh my fucking God. He says he's a BBK throttle body k and intake and aftermarket wheels, all of which equally a waste of money. 2015 Subaru WRX. I'm not gonna say any head gasket jokes or anything like that because personally, I'm getting tired of them myself. I can only imagine being unfortunate enough to actually own one of these cars, you know, running out of vape and stuff like that. It probably gets old, you know, just like me owning a Mustang and being a Mustang driver, I guess. So I will look at your build and let you know what I think. From the front end, it looks like an 18 year old college girl car. Nothing sporty or fancy about it, except for the giant glory hole in the hood. I'm sure your mom's all too familiar with those. But besides that, not a single essence of a sports car. Your fitment might be on point, but it almost looks like you have positive camber, which I don't think you want. The side angle, I once again fooling the young demographic into thinking that this is in fact a sports car, although I do count four doors on it. And in your circumstance, that probably means no hose. Definitely no hose. He did waste his money on a carbon fiber trunk, as if that does fuck all. It doesn't even make it look sporty. It just makes this car look like it got rear-ended, and you got a black trunk now. To conclude, though, you have done nothing noteworthy to transform this car. If I saw this at a meet or even a Walmart parking lot, I would just keep walking. No neck being snapped. All right next car oh sick ass look at those sick ass intakes whenever i see these goofy ass intakes it just looks like this like oh i'm fucking tough in a oh, g37 so homeboy's letting me know that he's living on food stamps because he can only afford half of a wrap not even a wrap stickers they're, they're, it's not a fucking wrap so help me god if i ever find your instagram and i see you saying a new wrap or livery or something crunchy like that that is not a wrap that is not a livery you put fucking some penis shaped stickers all over your fucking car to call it camouflage you have two sorry ass project cars in your garage god i like i open my garage and i have a, a honda that's not running but at least it looks good both of these i, I wouldn't give you 5,000 for either of them. They both look sorry. Ugh, what are these, odd Hans? Yep. Real wheel gang, $224 for some wheels. They don't even fucking look good either. And I know they weigh a shit ton because my girl had odd Hans on her car when she bought it. They are fucking boat anchors of wheels. So those sick ass intakes, they ain't making up for how much weight you have on the wheels. Oh my god. This is the most takeover looking car I've ever seen. God, I hate those goofy intakes. They look so fucking stupid. I don't get why you sticker bombed half the fucking car. Just finish it at that point. Just fucking finish it. Did you run out of money? Because it doesn't look like you were intending on doing it. It just looks unfinished. Like when people actually wrap half a car, you could tell because there's a fucking dividing line. It just looks like you put stickers on half your fucking car. One thing that's good about your circumstance is... If you are married and you do get a divorce, I don't think your wife wants any of your shit because it all looks like shit. Oh boy, more disappointment. Acura RSX. Sick. Like, look at the fucking vagina in this dude's seat. You think it's artificial? You think he put it there? I know some people really love their cars, but all right, man, chill out. Like, what I don't get either is why would you take a photo of it then? Are you proud of that? Like, fucking fix your damn seat. I feel like I could sew that shit shut. You could see right where his cheeks left a dent. Or his pelvis. 
it's just a really lazy build like oh i'm gonna lower my rsx oh i'm gonna put camber on it oh i'm gonna put white wheels oh i'm gonna wrap it purple like it's so boring it's so like everyone's done this before you have a k and intake we get it you have a splitter you have headers blah 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 nobody fucking cares anymore like this is like everyone does this everyone does this slam your car put camber on it put an intake on it call it a build it's so lazy i fucking hate it this dude though clearly loves it you already know his dick's got fabric rash from that are you mick fucking me oh my god so <laughs> you actually took this to a track you actually bought a ticket and typed in hyundai tiburon and went to a track holy crap i can't believe then again, I'm looking at what he's racing with. Let, let's be real here, okay? We got the Ford Flat. What is that in the background? That's not the Focus. The Ford Escape. We got the Ford Escape. Ain't escaping shit back there. We got some Porsche that's getting dogged by a Mini Cooper, a Tiburon, and a Honda. What fucking short bus racetrack did you go to? Like, what is this? I can't believe someone seriously tracked a Tiburon and it didn't fucking break. Like, you already know, every control arm, every bushing on this car is shot. And it's probably got fucking rust because he lives in the snow. Sick ass shot, bro. And obviously, he's a high schooler too because he's pulling up to high schools and taking photos. So, that lets you know what we're working with here. We're working with the high schooler with the, the Hyundai Tiburon and he tracks it. Or tracked it i can only hate so much he actually took it to the track whatever i just can't think of a bigger waste of money or well maybe than the guy that wasted money on his v6 mustang but whatever besides that can't think of another bigger waste of money roast my lawnmower ha 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 i'm gonna be edgy and call my honda a lawnmower oh my god that isn't even enough soap i guarantee that paint is swirled as fuck uh, guaranteed guaranteed swirl swirl city Nothing but circles. He says it is tuned on 91, making 220 wheel horsepower. He's got skunk two header and exhaust. Buddy club coilovers and buddy club rear upper control arms. Sick, bro. Sick build. I love your little wing with the roof thing and the, the weather guards and the fart can. What's rare is he took a photo at a gas pump because we know these things are getting like 40 mpg so this is a rare occurrence for these grocery getters going to the gas pump this is a once every two week occurrence so i'm glad we got to see it hell yeah brother we got a 2004 mustang gt 40th anniversary of package yee oh my god he's hanging out with bagged camrys oh my god two eggs that don't belong in the same basket although let's be real he would probably beat you in a race 280 horsepower it's not all that much especially not with giant chrome wheels eh, those wheels are a little bit better i guess this guy takes his photos like he's fucking ashamed of his car like dude he takes his photos from like a, a football field away and then zooms in like what is the point of that like this one's obviously zoomed in you can tell because it's so fucking pixelated this one i mean we can count the distance i mean look his buddy's taking a photo of him because he probably looks like a fucking idiot taking a photo of his car like a block down the street this one he's a little bit closer it's like his car had covid or something he's a little afraid of it and this one once again far away hey man this style of photo ain't working out for you these photos look like dog shit go watch a youtube video on how to take better pictures and then resubmit your car i saw genesis and i was like oh okay a genesis coupe we haven't had one of those in a video this dude got the mom car genesis we got the genesis sedan with blurry fucking photos what is with these fucking kids all right whatever all right let's let's keep it going let's keep it going sick he got the v8 though you see that you see that v8 underneath the hood sick and that's about it the rest of the car is bone stock thank you for showing me the stock hyundai genesis that you own moving on that was so fucking boring wait 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 i gotta give this guy some credit let's look at his build list really quick we got the mishimoto catch can sweet sweet build okay velosa tax tex don't know what the fuck he means there uh tech the tech the tachometer what what you, velosa tex what even is that i guess he means duct i guess and save the best for last the knn drop-ins why does every car in this fucking episode have knn intakes oh my god it's not sponsored 
but why? All these guys are going to AutoZone, getting oil changes, and these motherfuckers are making commission on you guys like there's no tomorrow. AutoZone will never go out of business. Mark my words. I was having an aneurysm because the further I go into this episode, the more I want to take a... I probably can't say that on YouTube. Never mind. Family friendly. We got an Integra here. Piece of shit. Um, hood gap. Swirly paint. Rust. A shitty quick disconnect. A quick release. Whatever you want to call it. This, dude. Where'd my subscribe with good cars go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go, guys? Where are the subscribers? I am tired of looking at junk. And why are you guys so incapable of taking a normal fucking photo? Like, what? what, what is it? Then again, I guess, looking at what you drive, you're incapable of a lot of fucking things, like moving up in life, because you have a fucking old ass Integra with mixed match panels and different color throughout the whole car. All right, guys, we'll do a couple more. I am almost relieved of my stress. Roast my bolt-on 2018 Civic Sport. Oh my god. PRL Catalyst Downpipe. PRL Cobra Cold Air Intake. Gretty, I'm guessing it says intercooler. I don't know, the photo cut it off. And Gretty Charge Pipes with a tune. I fucking can't stand these new Hondas. Like, they sell things to fix these fake vents that are just so goddamn ugly. Like, they are the biggest tumors I've ever seen on a modern car. And there are things that they sell to make them either functional or not look like shit. That should have been your first mod, but realistically, you're not thinking straight if you buy one of these cars. So I don't know why I thought that anyone with a sane mind would do that. Also, those have to be the ugliest fucking wheels ever. They have no shape, no concavity, nothing. It's just flat up and down. I fucking hate them. And this photo shows it. It's fucking flat. I hate it. God, how many fucking charms do you have to have dangling in the interior before you fucking get a ticket for it? That's how you know he doesn't drive it actually hard because that shit gets annoying when you're driving hard and that shit's fucking flopping around. I hate it. Sick ass decal on the front end though, bro. Love that shit. What'd that say? Did that say VTEC? That say VTEC on right, right there? That's gotta say VTEC. You guys will not believe what we have stumbled across. Look at this piece of shit. He has spare tires on it as if he's about to go drifting, which, as we know from Hondas, he's not. He also looks like he's on JNCs, which, if you know anything, means his wheels are pretty much built out of JB Weld. He then pops the hood and shows the mighty single cam. Like, you can't even burn out with that. Why do you even have spare wheels or tires? And then he has a full roll cage and gutted the whole interior. How embarrassing would it be to be in this and still lose to a stock Corolla? That's just embarrassing. I, I feel bad for you. All right, last car. It says it's a 2012 Mustang GT, and it's a stage three Whipple, full exhaust, lowered, blah, 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 blah. I am calling bullshit right here, right now, because if you look through this car, you can see that somebody modded this car and they did not have performance in mind. First things first, it's a fucking drop top. Why would you buy a drop top Mustang and make it have 700 rear wheel horsepower? I don't know. Third thing, or maybe that was second thing, I don't know. Second thing, these cars require a built motor to do 700 plus horsepower. I don't think the Gen 1 Coyotes, now I could be wrong, can handle that reliably for a long period of time. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. But we will continue into why I don't think so. Thirdly, it's an automatic. So if the Coyote can't handle it, I'm sure the automatic can't either. But once again, I could be wrong. I am seeing some sort of gauges here. If we do zoom in using this, it says GPS, which is great. And I can't make up anything else. Uh, all the other ones are just at zero, so I feel like they don't work. Continuing down my rabbit hole, we can see that his interior is... Eh, it's whatever. He's got some ugly fucking seats in there that everyone can see with his drop top down. And he has a wolf painted into the side of the car, which looks god fucking awful. I don't know what fucking idiot would do this shit i envision him being bald with sunglasses and a tan for the sunglasses because he probably doesn't even take them off when he sleeps honestly would rather watch my grandma give birth than look at this car but this one is just a hunch my last reason on why i highly doubt that it is whipple supercharged is because 
When you buy a Whipple, they give you a license plate frame. Now, not everyone puts it on. Maybe they don't all come in every box, but I got one. And I feel like this guy would definitely want to flex that he has a Whipple supercharger rather than just a 5.0 Coyote. But I don't fucking know. What wheel and tire setup is he on? The uh, Invos? Yeah fucking cap I, I don't think so not buying it not buying it for one second barely buying that this is a 5-0 you're lucky i believe that oh and this guy looks like such an asshole that he doesn't even drive with the seatbelt on so he has a little seatbelt trigger so he's even more of an asshole I'm telling you bald guy glasses probably fucking sunburn whatever anyways guys that is going to do it for this video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video obviously i'm not 100 percent serious when i'm making these types of videos so hopefully you guys understand that if you do want to see your car in one of these videos don't be afraid go ahead and submit it to my gmail drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com hit the like button and it should end up in a video anyways if you liked it let me know down below hit subscribe until next video peace